everyone. Welcome back to Big Daughter's Mystical Musings. I'm Big Daughter, also known as Erin. I want to talk about witch names. And yes, you can spell that W-I-T-C-H or W-H-I-C-H. Because really, witch, it gets confusing. It gets confusing really fast. One thing you are going to run into if you're new is the concept of having a use name. Now, uh, use name is a umbrella term for a great many of things from a great many uh, traditions and cultures. The general concept of a use name comes down to three things. Uh, the first one is anonymity. So if, say, uh, someone was to catch you and all you knew were the use names of your coven mates, then you can't out them. But at the same time, it's also a use a tool to test spirits. Hi, Lucy. I'm about to lose my phone. Okay, didn't happen. Um, did get some hair though. Oh boy, did I ever get some hair? Oh, oh, that's. Ah! Thank you, Lucy. Oh, life with cats, folks, because <laughs> it's a very good thing. I love them. So, back to use names, now that I've managed to not destroy my setup. Um, use names are used with uh, testing spirits, because something that actually is uh, beneficial for you and is going to work with you uh, to your to uh, further your goals and aspirations is going to know your name, your birth name. They will have, oh, I'm sorry, I still have a hair up my nose. It's driving me bonkers. Um, so if you run into them and they don't know what your, what your true name is, that's usually a really good indication that you don't want to be dealing with them. All right, so there's, there's two reasons, two very valid reasons for having a use name. Do you need one? No. It depends on what you intend to do and practice. Do you want to work with spirits? Then okay, let's look at having a use name. Are you going to initiate into a coven that uh, uses such things? Then yes, you're definitely going to have a use name. That's just part of the tradition and what is expected of you. Do you need a use name while you're perusing all the 101 books and have no clue what you're doing? No. You do not need one. You can take one. If you want to, you can take one. If it, re if it symbolizes some kind of uh, achievement, or the beginning of your study. You can take one, but it's yours. It's not for public consumption. If you want to uh, announce to the world what your use name is, well, okay, that's fine, but you're probably going to have uh, a lot of issues with that because now that you've broadcasted it, everyone is going to know including things that shouldn't know. I should, I should back up. Um, when I said before what, uh, the spirits of good intent would know your, your true name, your true name is what you identify as. That can include your use name. It can include your given name. It can't, <coughs> excuse me, you alone know how you identify. That's the point. So something that's supposed to be working with you uh, will know how you identify. Something that would like to take advantage of you will probably not know how you identify. As long as you actually keep it as a private thing. If you go around telling all and sundry that you are Lucy Moonflower Silverwolf, then it doesn't do you any good. So take all that, think about it, think about what you want to accomplish 
And then by all means, go with whatever direction works for you. It's your path. And on that note, I'm going to take off and scrape all this makeup off my face because it is blistering here and I'm sweating. I know you just needed to know that about me, didn't you? See you next time.